You already know this, but this bears repeating. Federal law imposes, thank you to the LA Times, borrowing from a November of 95 piece, federal law imposes a five-year mandatory minimum prison sentence for selling five grams of crack. You sell five grams of crack, you're in for five years. It takes 500 grams of powder cocaine to trigger the same sentence. Since nearly 90% of federal crack defendants are black, the Reverend Jesse Jackson, among others, at a news conference last week, reports the LA Times, termed the disparity racist. You wanted to say, as president of the National a bar association and, uh, and the largest and oldest, most respected African-American attorneys a society organization, Mr. Waters, you're on. We have a serious problem in this country. Our criminal justice system is in crisis. The media has portrayed African-Americans as criminals. We are targeted and prosecuted unfairly and unjustly. The remedy suggested by Mr. Butler, Professor Butler, I disagree with. There are not more African-Americans in prison than jail. That's an erroneous statistic that's been repeated in a There aren't what? There aren't more African Americans in prison than in college. The more are in college. It's, it's an erroneous statistic. But let me just make my key point. My key point is this. We have to start correcting these problems. We cannot have a nation of ex-cons because they're going to come back into society. We have to start to find ways so that the impact is not disproportionate the way it is. Let's put law enforcement resources in all communities and let's make it colorblind law enforcement. Yeah, briefly. Hi, I just want to say your major problem is solving it before they even get there to the, the uh, well, jails. I, I agree 100%. Yes, I sir, do. you wanted to say. Yeah, my question is, you keep saying that we need re rehabilitation and we need to change the justice system before we have this jury nullification. But right now, the, the jury system and the whole court system is controlled by a very small segment of the population that does not represent the whole population as a total. Now, I asked you why, while we're waiting for the whole justice system to be corrected, innocent people or people that do not deserve to be in prison are in there. And what do you suggest that we do right now to eliminate that from happening? Thank you. Oh, no, number one, you have members of Congress. You have U.S. Senators. You're all from all 50 states. You can tell them. It's not a white-black issue. There are plenty of fair white people. And we need a coalition of fair white people and black people to change this country, to stand up to the bigots who talk about Jose and want to be President of the United States. That's just, we'll be, we don't need that. And we'll be back. I think you speak of Patrick Buchanan. That's correct. In just a moment. <laughs> My close question.